Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be painting our front porch. So we own a 1909 villa and the front porch is a concrete porch. So currently it's painted but it is in pretty bad condition. So Georgia has just been down to Resine and picked up some paints. Oh, so we've got the walk-on paints and we've chose the colour element. So it's a nice dark grey. Yeah, so the walk on range basically just means that it's, if you have got a porch or it's just being walked on, uh, this is definitely the paint for you. So if you want to uh, to have something from the walk on range, basically you can choose from any colour at Resine, which is pretty, pretty cool. So you just go in and have a chat to their staff. Uh, I recommend getting some paint samples. We went through, how many did we go through? Uh, about 10. Yeah, about 10. We never did that with the interior. Yeah, so a little bit of a tip is to uh, check it in the day, the night, and also the shade in the sunlight. Uh, we'd get paint samples that were very different uh, in the difference of lights, basically. So uh, some looked blue in night, and then in the daytime, they actually look brown. So you need something that's going to last all round, and that's why we chose Element. We have also got some quick dry primer, so we're going to use this on the areas where the concrete's kind of visible and where the paint's just a bit patchy. Yeah, so what you do there is you just give it a quick sand back and around the surface and then you apply the, the primer, let it dry and then you're good to go. Right, we're going to get stuck in and give you guys a few tips. This is our first time painting exterior, so we're learning along the way as well. Right, so to begin, I am going to be cleaning the front porch with my Ryobi pressure washer. Uh, in the back of the Ryobi pressure washers, they have a cleaning, uh, like a cleaning bucket. So what I've done is I've added some porch cleaner into that. I'm going to spray it over first, and then I'm going to go over it with, uh, with the pressure nozzle just to make sure it's perfectly clean before we get too into it. But before I do that, I'm just going to give it a quick sand wherever uh, the surface is starting to flake just to make sure that the pressure washer will lift anything that is existing and all the dust is gone. Now that I've done all the water blasting, uh, it's looking really good. Uh, it's come up well, so I've removed all the uh, all the <laughs> I've removed all the uh, paint that was underneath the paint. Basically, it had bubbled up and it was looking really bad. So I removed all that. And now I'm going to use this Resine Quick Dry Waterborne primer undercoat. So this here will basically just adhere to the concrete and the paint that's already there uh, and act as a bit of a sealer for when I go and uh, paint the top coat. So Georgia has went ahead and applied all of the primer and now she is putting the first coat of the walk-on uh, element by Rosine and you can see how slick that looks. I'm so so happy. When we had the primer on it was so bright inside. Yeah so this is gonna look so nice. Our plan here is to have a black front door as well so yeah it's gonna it's gonna look great especially with the style of the of house. Spot the dog there. <laughs> she's she's wanting to come outside and have uh, have we walk on it I think but that is not gonna happen today. Today we are just doing the edges. We've got a little bit of help here from my sister Vienna, who's doing a sterling job. So we are just going round and uh, basically putting two coats on the edges, and then we'll put our final coat on uh, on the surface as well. Georgia's chief in charge here, doing a great job. Right, we have went around to all the trims and done all the sides. Vina and Georgia have done a sterling job of uh, tidying up all the sides and making sure that they have paint on them as well. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and apply the second layer of uh, Element by Resine. 
to the base of the uh, the patio. So the motion with the roller is very much the same to painting the walls. I do the W technique just to make sure that everything is uh, coated and also to maximize the use of the paint as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that.